All right, so welcome to the top 10 list of least popular weapons of 0.6.14. Ignore that this is like a day late. Here they are. So uh, number one is the least popular and number 10 is the 10th from least popular. As you can see, there is a very big correlation with uh, light parts. Uh, light parts fit up what? Seven of the 10 slots. So people weren't really using these parts a lot. Uh, this is based off of kills, but even if it is just based off of kills, like, the the number one had only one kill in, like, a span of, like, two days. It was really low. Uh, number ten might have had, a part like, two kills in, like, that span. Uh, to go over it, the most popular part when I got this data w had about 870 kills. So you can see there's a big discrepancy. So the qu real question is why uh, these parts weren't liked as much. And um, the flamer, it's probably because like flame was kind of hard, like especially if you had a high FPS, flames were nerfed at high FPS. Um, there's a lot of uh, machine guns in here. It's mostly because those just do tick damage. You don't get a lot of damage out of those it's just you have to shoot someone for a very long time especially because the light variants have lower damage and higher fire rate so you're just ticking away and just it doesn't do much uh the light z quad again i think that one might just be because you unlock at a later date because uh, unlock times also matter in this but i think that's mostly because it unlocks fairly late into the cycle and we can just pop over to the lovely part comparison. Just hide this uh, link so you don't notice it, and I'll go right back to this one. Lovely part comparison, which I uh, showing off the colorblind mode and all the stuff that uh, if you're a Patreon, you get to go and play with this uh, early as I play with it. Uh, so let's go to weapons, and I mean, let's go. Let's grab number, let me find out what number 10 was. Light Z Mini X2. You should probably like have that up somewhere. Okay, Light Z Mini X2. So let's grab that. You can see it's a little bit lagging. That's one of the things I need to fix up. So here it is versus every single part in the game. So here at the average bars, bam, bam, bam. That average is pretty low. Oh, heat generation, yeah. Well, you can see the the average bars. They're all fairly low. They're not really close to the top. But let's look at this one. So durability is almost at the bottom. Armor is the bottom. Energy generation, I mean, it's good. It's a little bit below the average, which is decent. Heat generation, again, you know, it doesn't generate any heat. Um, no, I need to... Uh, hold on, let me see if I can fix that. There you go, okay. So that, uh, heat, he uh, hit points, I don't think I filled that in, so that doesn't matter. Let's ignore this one. Weight, it doesn't weigh a lot, so at least that's something good going for it. It's a good thing that it doesn't weigh a lot, but the damage is, the damage is down there. It, it does, like, nothing per shot. Um... Reload rate's good though. I mean, it's around the like the middle of the the fastest and the slowest. It's high. It's faster than the average, which because of all the big guns, uh, the fire rate is skewed that way. But I mean, again, we're talking about a few hundred shots a uh, second, minute, whatever. Ammunition. Yeah, at least it has a lot of ammunition, which is good. Uh, range isn't good though. The range is, what, 275, so in a grid square is when it really starts dropping off. So you can't, this is going to be a medium close-ish weapon. Uh, recoil, no recoil, so I mean, you got that going for you. I mean, it's just a little, so of course there's not going to be recoil. Um, velocity, at 420 velocity, blaze it, is um, it's decent velocity. And it's a good, it's a good number right there. Uh, it's not the fastest, but you can at least hit targets fairly reliably, especially fast targets with that. 
total damage is the average total damage, so that's cool. Uh, about 400 uh, total damage per one, so. And then minutes to kill the base, it's. I don't know what, what the average minutes to kill the base is. I don't see the, the blue line. Apparently, it's not like. I might have done something wrong and it didn't grab the blue line for this one. But it takes 16 minutes. 16 and a half minutes to kill the base. So, like, I mean, that's mostly it. That's mostly this. It's just a lot of low damage things. Uh, the sniper ones. Um, oh, okay. It's the 160s, which of course have a very low amount of uh, damage. Number 10. It's it's a 160 cannon, and it's a light, and it's a the sniper variant. So it's the fire speed is slow, the damage is low, the derby is low, the armor is low. It's, it's just a lot of low. So, yeah, it's, I'll release that video.